Hey, Merry Christmas. Soon you're going to be going to parties. You're going to be hanging out with kids after church. And it's time for a really cool magic trick that, yes, even you can do. Hi, this is Carl Bastian from Kidology.org, and I am ready for a fun, festive Christmas season. But what I want to do is I'm going to reveal one of my secrets uh, when I'm out hanging out with kids and just having a great time. Hey, Christmas is all about candy, right? Now I know the reason for the season, but I'm talking about just stuff that kids love and they love candy cane. So I'm going to show you a levitating candy cane trick. Now, as soon as you see it, you're going to think you know this trick, but alas, I have a new twist on the trick. Get it? A new twist. Anyway, so here's what you do. You're out and about. You're either in the foyer at church or even in your classroom. We're out to a restaurant and you find some candy canes. That's all you need for this amazing trick. Because what you're going to do is you're going to explain to the kids that you're going to do something absolutely amazing with this candy cane. You are actually going to make it suspend in midair. So what you do is you take your candy cane, all right, and you hold it in your hand just like this. Now, don't just be quick about it. What you got to do is you got to be mysterious. You got to wave your hand over the candy cane. And one by one as you do so, you let go of the candy cane. And it floats and it levitates and it sticks to your hand. And then, of course, you pass out the candy canes to the kids and let them try. Now, some kids have seen this trick. And they're going to go, I know, I know, using your finger, using your finger. So you say, okay, okay, yes, some of you know this, but let me just teach it for those of you who, who don't know how the trick is done. And this is where the real magic comes in because you say, see, when I'm making it float, ta-da, what you have to do is count my fingers. How many fingers do I have on the bottom? Yes, three fingers. How many fingers does a person normally have on their hand? That's right, four. You see? There is a missing finger, and this is where you turn and you show them how the trick is done. You see, I'm actually holding the candy cane with that missing finger. But then, this is it. Are you ready for the moment? Then you say, but see, most people are paying attention to the finger. Now, as soon as you do that, the kids are going to scream, what about the candy cane's floating? And you just keep going, no, no, no. No, see, I'm holding it with my finger just like that. But see, people never count the fingers and they forget about this index finger and of course while you're talking about your finger the candy cane is still floating and they're going to keep wanting to see it they're going to try to come around you if you're in a restaurant it can get a little tricky but you just got to keep turning and showing no 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 i'm i'm holding it with my finger like that and the finger is actually what is holding the candy cane there now maybe you're starting to wonder how it's done well there is a little secret to it number one you got to have two candy canes and it helps if you have a watch on because this is the reveal. Children, leave the room if you're watching because you're not allowed to see this. All right, only children's workers. See, you have another candy cane up your sleeve and you just take that candy cane, stick it in your watch, or if you're at a restaurant, grab a, grab a knife as long as your finger's big enough to cover the knife and you can have so much fun with this. You can milk it. The kids will think you're amazing. And what's really cool is uh, you can actually levitate forks. Now, the candy cane doesn't work, but with a table, because forks have a little scoop on them, you can actually put your hand down on a table, lift your fingers up, go under the fork, and lift it up, and then you can pick up things. You can snap your fingers and make it fall, and the kids will never know. And the best thing is it's really easy to lower your hand and pull the candy cane out. And if you use a candy cane, the kids aren't even going to notice because you've got candy canes all over the place. The knife's a little hard to get rid of. That's why I love this candy cane version. So when you're out and about during this holiday season, amaze the kids. But then explain to them the meaning of the candy cane. If you have a basic red and white candy cane, it's wonderful. Tell them, do you know the story behind the candy cane? You know what, and I'll give you the quick version. Many of you probably know this. What letter does this remind me of? That's right, the letter J, because Jesus died on the cross. Am I doing that backwards in the video? I, I think I might be doing that backwards because I'm looking at the screen. It reminds us of Jesus, and Jesus was announced when he came and was born by the shepherds, and the shepherds, of course, have their shepherd's crooks, and then the red and the white, and I have a whole box of candy canes, and none of them are red and white, but the red reminds us that Jesus died on the cross. He paid the price for our sins so that we wouldn't have to, and then the white in the candy cane reminds us that though our sins were scarlet, they become white as snow, and we're forgiven. We have a clean slate, 
And you know what? You might just get a chance to invite a child to give their life to Jesus during this Christmas season after floating a candy cane and then explaining the reason for the season, which of course is Jesus. Did I do that right? Have a Merry Christmas, and I hope you enjoy this magic trick.